Hello, I'm Steve Muggy Mason and welcome to my birthday video 2017, which is going to be pretty mental going by what's about to happen. Okay, if you're wondering what the spoon is about, so is Glenn Malpass, I'm telling you. Apart from that, the reason why I'm holding the bag and the spoon and introducing this video is this video is two different videos and it's all about my birthday. Now, I had some amazing presents of Annie for my birthday. I really did. I still need to open this. But when you have an unboxing video and you went out the night before and I was that hung over the next day that it took me till four o'clock to open the presents that were making the video, it was probably a good idea to hold back and separate the footage. So if you click on there right now, YouTube, if you're watching this on your Xbox and PlayStation at home, that will not work. What I'm pointing at is nothing. It's pictures of me. It's Barney's birthday today. See Barney? I haven't seen Barney in a while. So you can click here and that's not going to work. But in the link description below is a completely different video where me and Annie go out for my birthday and I'm hungover all the next day. So this is my birthday video. Now thank you very much Annie for all the presents she's given me. This will be a fast forward slash kind of cut. Slash kind of cut. How many beers have I had tonight with Annie? See this is what it is. So I hope you enjoy my unboxing and at the end of this video I'll find out what's in this bag. Hey look, it's got Thomas the Tank on. I'm going to do this uh, birthday unboxing jump cutting. It's going to have to be just jump cutting. If you jump cutty then it'll slow down as I get present after present. By the looks of it, present after present. Hello, it's Stephen's birthday today. Yeah, it will be pretty random. What? No, no. It's quite funny, that Superman thing I bought you over a year ago for your birthday. It looks like it's got a massive bush. <laughs> it's a total flaw on that thing. It's like Superman's massive bush. Anyway. <gasps> wow! Check this out. You can just slip it out. That's what she said. It is the Dark Man on vinyl. Well, sorry, on vinyl laser disc. Wow! Check this out. Stupid traffic bugs. So Dark Man's one of my favourite films. Um, so some reason the corner's been searched off as I do a jump cut here. Um, but here it is. Dark Man, disc one. So I do think one of the best things about Dark Man is the colour theme going on here. The blue and the orange. It's such a mint picture of the actual Dark Man, the imagery wise as well. Um, it's awesome. Thank you very much, Annie. Careful. Why is it sweet? <laughs> wow. So you got one, did you? These are original 1970s uh, promotional cups for King Kong remake, starring Jeff Bridges. Wow. Right, it's one. So it's a plastic cup. Um, obviously, King Kong is on top of the Trade Towers. Uh, that is on the VHS. It's actually been removed. There's still only one King Kong. There's actually a couple of them now. There's King Kong, there's this. There's Kong Skull Island. Um, but yeah, 1976. Wow! Check that out. See, two presents in. This is why I'm with my girlfriend. Darkman Laserdisc. King Kong official mug. Must point out the Thomas the Tank uh, air. <laughs> good enough, just give me mum a birthday card as well, and I had Thomas the Tank on. <laughs> mum doesn't like the camera today. Um, trying to guess what this is, it's a bit squidgy, a bit hard in the middle. Could be a belt. It's a rock lord. It's a rock lord. I am a child. Now it's one of the goodies who eats the rocks. And it has this probably like Mac and me face, alien face going on there. 
So he's pretty. Uh, this is not one of the ones which re was really like, like toy, like proof of you know, not toy proof, but you know, this one falls into a rock, but he doesn't like have any movement, you know. So it's a woo. But I did have him as a kid. His feet fold all the way up and in. Um, head pops down, and I'm sure. He might not even fully fold. There we go. So he doesn't really. He falls into like a tank of some almost. Uh, again, to me, he's in the movie, but to me, he was always the one who cashed in. But he's awesome now to have my new Rock Lord collection, which is ever grown now of Army of Four. Come on, do it. Do it now. Uh, this is a VHS. It's a big box. Mm. It's a big box VHS. It's slim case. I don't know. It's a Warner Brothers. Wow! Where did you get this from? <laughs> one Crazy Summer is finally back in my collection. This is amazing. This is one of the best films ever made in the 80s. Um, John Cusack, Demi Moore, I think in the original movie. Bobcat Goodworth. And now if you look there, Bobcat, this is what I love about this cover. Um, it's spoof, it's like they're making a movie about I think the Dolphins Got Rabies or something. So the film and that, it's a summer film going on there. And Bobcat Goodworth gets dressed up as Godzilla and wreaks havoc. Uh, it's an amazing movie, I mean, check out the 80s hairdo. Um, it's been fully rewound and has no mould on it. No mould. Wow, thank you very much, Annie, that's amazing. That is, that's, it's going to be hard to top. That's the that's the best one yet. That is definitely one on the new VHS shelf. The book. Mm, book about what? Mm, films? No. Bigfoot. Just so. I can see My Little Pony for a start. My Little Pony. It's an 80s book, isn't it? It's got He-Man on the front cover. Just can't get enough. The Life and Times of Annie Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, this is like a retro uh, book. Um, it's got a Care Bear, He-Man. <laughs> it's Optimus Prime on the back and the original. So, oh, wow. Toys that rock the 80s. Wow, this snuff! Still, I still haven't forgiven you, mother. Chucking Snarf out. Snarf was my hero as a kid. Ooh. We might be here for a while. Wow, this is midnight. Poor Ray will absolutely just be like. He will just explode it. Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> wow. You know what's going to happen. Going, is this the abominable snowman? <laughs> um, remember them as well. Oh, wow. I'm going to end up spending a fortune on eBay. And it's even got Pan for Leonardo. Leonardo. The Thunder Tank. The Thunder Tank. Muscle Man, you've read this, haven't you? Mask. Garbage Peel Kids. Um, wow. Unbelievable. Why is Corey here? The Hangman. Yeah. What, is, what is that about? <laughs> Out of all them pages to flick through, I popped to that bit. God bless Corey Hame. He always bought these. Wow, sound, it's a blaster. Transformers, wow. Well, there's bits as well, do you see that? <laughs> wow, that's amazing. T-shirt. Promise the tank one. A Stand By Me t-shirt? Yeah. Eh? Wow! <laughs> it's a Stand By Me t-shirt? <laughs> you like it? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it different? Yeah. Well, Wheaton looks like some kind of, like, terrifying. <laughs> I know. 
Didn't look like that in Edinburgh when I seen him. <laughs> That's awesome. VHS number two, big box. Open it, open it. I don't know what this could be. It's an 18. I don't know what this could be. Is it silver bullet? Is it really? Wow it is. Wow. Wow. Yes. I had that and my mum chucked it out. I'm blaming my mum a lot today. Snarf. First snarf. Now this. Um, this is one of the original Corey Hay movies I had. It's a Stephen King movie, Silver Bullet. The artwork. It's dr drastically changed over the years, but this is the one I had, the big box. Uh, yeah, I mean, someone hasn't rewound it. What are you playing at, people? When you sell something like this, you need to rewind them. Um, wow. Uh, I used to have that bottom corner right there to me and Casper, and it is in the background on the top shelf, barcode on the side. Amazing. Thanks, Annie. <laughs> I don't need anything else. It's a jumper. The long sleeve jumper. I'm trying to. I've get. I've get. I've get. I've done well. I've guessed. You're not I, supposed to guess. Well, Just I did. Open it. <laughs> you asshole! I was expecting this to turn up tomorrow. This is mine. <laughs> so like, Thomas the Tank. Um, when I was a kid, going back to my mum chucking stuff out. This was long when I was a kid. We used to have a place for Thomas the Tank and uh, we started to develop um, a review for Ant-Man and um, I bought like two Thomas the Tanks for have you seen Ant-Man. I said, oh yeah, I remember that play, Matt. Now, I haven't seen this in like 25 years and I can't believe this was even on eBay. This is a massive, huge floor mat that I used to play with Thomas the Tank on. Now this is more memory trips. Wow. Holy shit, man, I haven't seen this for years. <laughs> Fucking hell, look at the... Look at the, Thomas, <laughs> look at the Thomas the Tank on it. Yeah. Retro. But yeah, I used to sit and play it as a kid. Yeah, you know, not if it moves, but... You know, in the 80s, you didn't have... I mean, lucky enough to get, like, a Mega Drive. Uh, but yeah, you just sit for hours. <laughs> like... Like, original Minecraft, baby. <laughs> this is your mind on a floor, craft, craft and imagination. <laughs> that is amazing. I would say thank you, Annie, but I knew this one was coming. She tricked me, she tricked me. Well, where is a cape? That's a big book. Hmm. Wow. Where did you get this? <laughs> It's Kong! Skull Island! It is the official uh, making of art. Oh, wow, I think this must have cost you a small fortune. Yeah, like 25 quid prices on the back. Um, really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. 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 Um, I totally forgot about it. seeing the movie. The, with the gas. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, separate video for this. We'll unbox this properly. I know what this one is. Open it first. I know what that one is. Close. I know what this is. Just give me that back. Open that one first. I know what that is. Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> Who's that, James Franco? <laughs> it's a mask. 
Hey Steven, it's me, Jake. <laughs> okay, there you go. This is Bigfoot, isn't it? It is. It's Bigfoot, the big board game. Wow, it's not actually. Holy shit. It's Gremlins, the game. Wow! Check this out. Gremlins, the board game. What's this from? Wow. Warning. Keep them out of light. I love the artwork. So it's a board game for the gremlins. Comes with a uh, whole board. How awesome is that? So there'll be a game of that, I imagine. <laughs> I think we're done. Oh, no, we're not. There you go. I know what this is. What? Don't do that. Why? Open it. Why am I? We must make me shake it. No. Why? This is the last present. Oh, Chris Angel, <laughs> custom made. <laughs> wow. Oop. Careful. Um, I've got a. Well, this is from a uh, Chris Angel. Um, tune creating. I always say the name wrong. Um, got a King Kong custom drawn on there. What's inside the box? It's an Angel of the North. Wow. Wow, he's got a King Kong on it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Um, Kong Angel, Chris, signed. Uh. The first edition. Happy birthday, Stephen Monkey Mason. How amazing is that? Wow. <laughs> Chris, that is amazing. <laughs> the one and only. The one and only? Yeah, so I have to custom build uh, King Kong. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Chris. <laughs> that is amazing, Chris. Chris Angel made it for me. Thank you, baby. <laughs> wow, look at all this shit. <laughs> you happy? Yeah, yeah. Of the moon. So much stuff going on. Uh huh. It did good. Yeah, it did good. <laughs> <laughs> Custom Chris Angel. We've been talking about that for a couple of months now. Okay, so you know what the crack is the spoon is, what's in the bag? Now the night a couple of nights after my birthday, me and Annie clicked on eBay and this has just turned up today. And I'm like, wow, what's in the bag? Now it didn't come in the bag, but Annie had opened it, so when I seen it, I seen, oh yeah, they've come. Now while I'm going down trips of memory lane lately with the GoBots, Muttley, The Undertaker. One of the toys I still own, I've had since I was a kid, and his name is Ram Bam. The sticker I named him as a kid is still on the bottom. Ram Bam. Who appears in the Thundercats movie as part of the Berserkers, and just so happens to be one of the most dangerous kids' toys ever. You'd be fine playing with this toy. Oh, see, even after 30 years, he's still dangerous. That is a real tire on his belly. But Ram Bam's always been there, and he was my last Thundercats I had. And one night I was reminiscing about Marmot. Marmot's Mumra's dog. And when I had this idea, I went on eBay and ended in less than five minutes was a combo deal of three characters for £10. Free delivery. Boop. Thanks, Harry. So in this bag I have an original Monkey Inn, which is one of Mumra's henchmen. Doesn't come with his weapons, but it's Monkey Inn. Mumra, I remember Conrad and Shiv years ago going, I'll have a Mumra on the Batman, please, when we were coming up with new concoctions of drinks. Mumra was one of them. Just like to say, sorry, Conrad, I won't catch you tomorrow for filming all this kind of stuff, but I do remember Mumra on the Batman. I also do remember it. It's a 3D, if you look in there. That car looks different colours than you've worn, because it's white. <laughs> so then, when you look through yeah, it... Get next to a red and green one, that'll be good. 3D.
That comment is so stupid, it's so funny. Okay, so I've got a monkey in and a mumra. Well, these glasses are horrible to film in. This room looks absolutely trippy. Everything does look 3D. Anyway, last but not least, I remember my mom buying me this for my birthday when I was like eight years old. This is Marmot. This totally brings back memories to me. So the funny cats have invaded the Grandland shelf for now. There's a jump cut. How long's my fly been open? Whatever, it's better out here. So thank you very much Annie for the birthday presents. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you check out the alternative video of like the night out and the night before and the hangover of hell. And this video, two different twins, two different personalities I guess, in a way. I've been Steve Monkey Mason. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Hmm. Phantasm video. Should have done that by now.